morning everyone i hope you're well welcome back to the channel today i've got something nice and simple to do i've had this in the cupboard for months and months and months and i've never got around to doing it but today we're going to and it is a crimpit i know everyone's going mad over these crimpits at the minute this cost me 10 pounds off their actual website i know they're about 15 pound now something like that but we're going to have a look anyway and we're going to make a few so coming over and have a look what it is here it is a crimper for wraps ideal for burritos calzones is that enchiladas kebabs pasties and more and of course you get the crimped seal so we'll turn it over have a look at the instructions i'll just hold it there every minute so you can all have a look right it makes a delicious snack uh, crimps the edges of wraps together to seal, creates a parcel ready for you to heat how you like. You can air fry it, uh, grill, oven or pan fry, whatever you like. It's great for the whole family, it's dishwasher safe and it was made in the UK. So, we're going to open it up and have a look and then I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff that I've got. Right, let's open the box up and we'll have a look. I'm trying to do it so you can all see it. That's what it comes like. Oh, let's take it out. Oh, there's loads of pieces of paper with it. That's the actual crimpit. It's quite big, isn't it? Because the other ones, when they first came out, was really small, weren't they? And it's got a caution in here. Uh, place wrap over a crimpit, add ingredients, then microwave. Uh, microwave the device and the ingredients all together for 20 seconds. Remove from the microwave, fold over your wrap and crimp. No microwave, run a wet finger. Oh, this isn't if you've got a microwave or anything like that. You can run a wet finger around the edge of the wrap before crimping. This helps to seal it better. That's good then, so you can even use it if you haven't got a microwave. So we'll take that bit out. It does look massive, doesn't it? Compared to the little ones that first came out. And here, I think we've got some recipes so I'm going to show you that and you can scan the code if you want to you can make sweet and savoury apple sauce stewed apples cinnamon and honey that sounds really nice doesn't it or you could have chicken mozzarella sliced tomato green pesto and basil leaves and that sounds quite nice but I wouldn't eat the mozzarella so yeah and then there's another one that's on the Facebook so that's good you can join the facebook as well uh, what's this one this one's just instructions we've already read through them haven't we and we're going to wash it before we use it so there's another scan code if you want it and then on the back it's got clear instructions which is really good so i'll just leave that there for a minute so you can all see that so yeah i'm going to get this washed up and we're going to have a go at making some crimpets I'm going to be doing savoury ones today. I was going to do some sweet ones, but you could make anything you wanted to. You could put anything in there you wanted to. You could even put leftover dinner in there if you wanted to. Anything and everything. So I'm going to give it a wash under a hot tap and I'll be with you in a bit. Right, I've gave it a good wash in some hot soapy water so it's ready for us to use now. It's quite big, isn't it? I wasn't expecting it to be that big. You could make one and have it for your dinner, couldn't you? You could put, have it with chips or something. So I've brought some big wraps from Aldi. And then I went to B&M and I've got some chilli con carne and some stewed steak. So I'm going to be doing them today. So I'm going to open it all up. I'm going to get the instructions so we can go by the instructions again. And... Then we'll have a look what it comes out like and i'll also do one without using the microwave to seal it to see if it works so you could put anything in these couldn't you that the possibilities are endless with this you could put whatever you wanted in it but i thought i'd just go for something nice and simple today so i'm going to start with the chili con carne one i think and i've run into a problem already because i can't open these tins properly might have to get keys in already. I'll have a go. 
no, I can't do these tins. Give me a second and I'll give him a shout. He's coming now. He's going to open the tins for me. Like I said, I've had this in the cupboard for absolute months and months. I can't open the tins, sorry. Mm. I can't open the tins already. I've no, run no into tins. a problem already. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't even get the spoon underneath it. Thank you. It's big, isn't it? I don't know, I haven't seen it. So this is it, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's quite a big one, isn't it? Oh, yeah, why don't you do that so I can use it? I know, yeah. I've just said it's been in the cupboard for absolute mm. ages and ages. And I've seen on the uh, internet and what's it called? TikTok and stuff. So we're going to make one now. Yep, yeah, thank you. Right, it says buy, buy your favourite wraps, which I just got from Aldi. And then we're going to add your favourite filling, leave a gap around the edge, uh, clear a filling so the wrap can seal together. Before you fold your crimp it over to seal, microwave, microwave the device and the filling for 20 seconds to soften the wrap. Right, okay, oh, do you know what, I'm sorry if I wasn't in picture then. There you go. So we're going to do that first. I'm going to start with the chilli con carne. Oh, I can smell that chilli con carne. It well, reeks, especially in the morning when I have no breakfast yet. Right, so we're going to open the wraps up. So, we get a wrap, we've got a big one. And we put it like that. It just goes on top like that. I'm going to just press down so I can see where my filling goes. There. Right, I'm going to start with the chilli con carne first. That's the chilli con carne. It's got peppers in and everything by the looks of it. I'm going to spread it out. I mean, you'll learn as you go along how much filling to put in, won't you? Sorry, I'm in your bag again. Right, it says keep away from the edges, which I've done. So I'm going to put this one in the microwave for 20 seconds. And then we can make another one. Right, it's been in the microwave for 20 seconds to soften the wrap up like it says. So now we've softened the wrap up. Uh, fold the crimp it and push down the lid. Right, okay. I'm going to put that on there. Can you all see? Yeah. Right, I'm going to push it down and see if it works. Push it on it hard. I don't know if it's supposed to click or nothing. It's not clicking. But it feels like it's all squashed into place. Like I said, it's the first time I've ever used one, so... I learned by my mistakes, can't I? And now we're going to open it back up. Wow, there we go. Perfect. Now I sort of know what I'm doing and how much filling to put in. Maybe I could put a bit more filling in this time. I'm going to stir the... Uh, I'm just going to stir this steak up a minute because it's got a bit of fat on top. And I think in my next ones, I'm going to put a bit more filling in. This one's a bit more runnier, isn't it? So, gosh, that's a big piece of steak. I wonder if you could do it with puff pastry as well. I wonder. This is a bit more sloppier. So, I'm going to put a bit more filling in, I think, this one. And we'll see how we go. It's trial and error, isn't it? So, I'm going to go and put that in the microwave for 20 seconds. That's the steak one done. So, again, I'm going to and squash it. Squash it down to seal it. Hopefully, they won't splurt open when we cook them. Because I'm going to put them in the air fryer. But I'm going to ask Keith to help me do that. Oh, sorry if that was a bit loud. I was really close to the microphone then. Right, let's have a look. There we go. That's the steak one. So, I'm going to go off camera and make two more. And then we're going to come back. We're going to warm the air fryer up. And we're going to get them in the air fryer. Right, I did forget. I also said I was going to do one without the microwave. Because it says that you can just run your finger along. And it acts like glue and seals the crimp it. So... So it says get your finger and where's my instructions gone? Run it round the edge so it acts like glue. So I'm just gonna do that and hopefully I've put enough on so it sticks. 
you could put as much or as less filling in as you wanted i mean they're huge i'll show you in a minute they look really nice right i'm going to try it now without putting it in the microwave so we press it down we've put the water around the edge oh there we go oh, it's sealed it that's good so you know you can use it without having to use the microwave which is really good those are my chili con carne ones that i made so just put them to the side over there and then these are the steak ones and then this one in the middle is the one that we didn't put in the microwave we just wetted the edge to see if it's stuck and it has i know there's not very much filling in there because i ran out didn't i so now i'm gonna do these in the air fryer right i've put them in the this air fryer because it's easier for me i've put one of each in one chili con carne and one steak so i will bring you back when they're cooked and here's two i've put them in the air fryer oven for about five ten minutes and this is it this is what i've got i did lose a little bit of steak juice out of this one but like i said it's my first time using it so i suppose the more they use it the better you get at it so i'm gonna also bring keith in so he can have a try keith's gonna come in and have a try of them as well if he comes i'm gonna let him try whichever one he wants to try and I'm just going to enjoy the one. What we got for me then? Okay, a minute. No. This one here is chili con carne. Mm -hmm. And that one there is steak. But remember, it's only the ones that I brought from B&M. Okay. Out the, uh, cheap one, yeah. the cheap, just yeah. the cheap tin ones. And I've got some more cooking in there. Yeah, okay. That one's the steak one. I did lose a bit of gravy out of that one to tell you the truth, but like I said, it was my first time doing them. There we go, that's what it looks like inside. Careful. Just let it burn yourself. Mm. Nice. Mm. Yeah. They're good, aren't they? Mm. You could put absolutely anything in them you wanted mm. to. They're handy, they are. And they're big as well. You could have one of them for your dinner or breakfast. Mm. You could put breakfast stuff in there or dinner stuff in there, whatever you wanted to. Well, that's nice. You like All that one? That. You can try the other one then. For the canned stuff as well, you know what I mean? That. Yeah. Meant be own. Oh, yeah, if you, you made your own, that, you might, your own stuff, it'd be really mm. good. Let's try this one. Try that one then. That's nice. Take long to do, no? About oh. five, ten minutes. Yeah, they that's the only trouble with the cans, they've really got like all that gravy juice yeah, in it, haven't yeah. they? Some like chop some potatoes really small. Are they both no that's chili con carne, isn't it? No, this one's a beef uh, stew, I think. Oh. Yeah, the steak one did have a lot of gravy, but there was I weren't straining it out and everything. It's just a test to see if the mm. product was any good. And I think it's really good. Mm. They're nice. Mm. That's mm. good then. For tins. It's mm. things, but it's about that, isn't it? It's, and that works, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's really good. I really like it older. I think it's really handy. So I could use that, mate. Make some corny pasties. Yeah, you could. Couldn't I? Yeah, yeah. Burritos, anything. You could do it absolutely anything. And there's mm. some facts. There's some scan codes on there, so I've let Especially everybody... you left over dinner, we've got left in your pans or whatever. Yeah. Put it in there, put it in the fridge. And have it the next day. Dinner yeah, there's a group on Facebook on the piece of paper that I showed everybody that could scan the code. And it's got a Facebook group. Mm, loads of recipes. Loads it? of recipes, loads of ideas. Of course. You... Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. That's good it then. Works. Yeah. I'm gonna it have works, a... it, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have a little taste of it now anyway. Mm. The other ones are done, so yeah, about five 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 minutes it takes. But these, you to these ones were out of the can anyway, so they're gonna be really juicy. <coughs> I mean Put in stag, well, no, it's only a test, isn't it? But... Mm. The tin stuff as well. Mm. Not bad, yeah, is it? Quite nice. you know, it's quite the nice. tin, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
That's really nice, but like you said, if you did your own and put your own ingredients in there and did it a lot better. Mm. Oh, just what you've got left over. Even the Sunday dinner, you've got some Sunday dinner left over for the next day. Even that breakfast one. Well, breakfast or anything, wouldn't you? Wherever you want, picnics, mm. whatever. There's ones in there, you probably can't see them. Oh, right. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Right, that's that done then. So, that was my little tester of the crimpit. Like I said, I've had it for absolutely ages and ages, months and months and months, and I keep forgetting to do it. It was £10 on their website, but I think they're also now selling for £15. And like I said, I showed you the QR code for um, Facebook. There's loads of different recipes on there. Like I said, you could put absolutely anything you wanted. And I think this, I'm going to give it full marks. It gets five out of five for me today. I think they're really good. They're really handy. Yeah, and I can't wait for Keith to use it because his stuff will be delicious. So, gets top marks for me. Really does. Um, they were really easy to do as well. Not hassle. You know, you have to do this and this and this and this. So I thought they were really quick and easy to do. But I lost my way at the end there. I don't know what uh, has happened. So like I said, I give this full marks. Gets five out of five today. Really simple and easy to use. Can even use it if you haven't got a microwave. And this one costs £10. But I think they've gone up in price now. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you all later. Bye.